So, Battle Pass 2022, boom, is coming to an end very soon, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, it is time to take our final look at some of the vehicles uh, inside the Battle Pass 2022, because what they usually do every single year is they introduce completely new rewards, completely new systems, and uh, new vehicles as well. Uh, we had three seasons this year already, so this is the final chapter, and it is going to end on November 30th, if I am not mistaken, this current Battle Pass uh, season, and this is the final one. So, guys, a fair warning. Please spend all your tokens. Spend all your tokens, uh, what you can spend on the vehicles or on equipment. You know, you're able to pick up one bounty equipment with your uh, leftover tokens. If you have any leftover tokens, you know, uh, those tokens what redeem you vehicles. Like Lorraine 40, uh, sorry, 50T. Or Cobra, or A Phase One, Sharp Two, Object uh, Seven 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 Version Two, and also K Ninety One B T. I'm talking about those tokens. Please spend them because those tokens do not carry over. I know there are many of you who know that, uh, but at the same time, there are so many of you who do not know that, or simply uh, are going to leave this to the final minute, to the final week, and uh, then suddenly, boom. It is gone. I forgot to do that. Like, raise your hand in the comment section if you have done that. I am actually guilty. I have missed out some events. I have missed out claiming some free stuff from different events, uh, leaving it to the very last minute. Uh, so, guys, let's agree on something. Let's not make it the case this year about the Battle Pass. What do you say about that? Okay, nice. Anyway, Lorraine 50 t in today's video is one of those vehicles what you are able to claim for your tokens. And let's talk about this tank while we are enjoying this uh, quite a nice battle, very nice battle, nicely played as well by uh, Crow Warrior 2210. Thank you very much uh, for sharing this battle with the community. And uh, this is, you know, where this tank uh, feels in its element the most uh, versus tier 8, I would say so, because uh, you have the gun. You have, you know, quite a nice gun. Now, what you do have is uh, minus 10 degrees of gun depression and a decent turret as well, especially in this matchmaking. Not so much versus full tier 9s or full tier 10s, because there are some uh, penetrations into the turret happening as well, of course, especially when they tap the 2 key as well on the top of everything. Uh, but uh, this is where it feels uh, in its element, and the map is quite nice as well. There are, or on this map, uh, there are so many hull down positions where you're able to hide your hull, which is the biggest problem. And uh, let me actually show you how big of a problem this hull can be for you. So here it is versus quite a standard tier 8 penetration versus IS-3's AP round 225mm of penetration and as you can see it is completely green right over here. Upper plate 140, uh, max the lower plate is actually the strongest part but still a penetration 200. So if you see this tank just don't aim at the lower plate, aim anywhere in the upper plate. Uh, whatever vehicle you're using, what sees this tank, even tier 7s you can see, are easily able to go through that and decide 40 mm meter side armor guys the amount of times i have completely destroyed this tank whenever i see it right with high explosive round is simply ridiculous and uh, of course artillery loves to penetrate this tank as well you are just seeing so many penetrations uh, by art into the side armor into the rear armor uh, into the top of the tank you know this is just easy penetration because of 40 millimeters of armor only basically every single high explosive round has more penetration uh, in uh, this tier uh, in this matchmaking what uh, sees this vehicle so you have to be very very careful about that it can't side scrape but the turret as i said versus uh, tier 8 is quite decent 250 in the hs this is the lowest um, and commander hatch little commander hatch as well but this is quite hard to hit especially if it is hull down but you know when you are hull down even the upper plate uh, you cannot angle it good enough to make it a bounce it is still a penetration so definitely you have to look out for that uh, but what is good, of course, the top speed, you can see 60, uh, power to weight ratio is nice, uh, uh, the stabilization is nice, what I want to see over here, the aiming time, the gun on paper, guys, honestly, is not that bad, accuracy is good, aiming time is uh, quite long, though, uh, penetration good, 400 uh, damage, uh, but uh, DPM 
under 2000. Very, very low DPM and oh boy. You can feel it in many situations, uh, the need for more DPM. It actually has second lowest. The lowest one is WZ114, obviously, and this one has the second lowest DPM. For example, you know, M103 has 2400 or M60 has 2300, IS32 has 2200 DPM, just uh, as a little comparison over here. And I don't know, guys, is it just me or um, this gun many times is super freaking turpy as well on the top of everything it like it's it's bent barrel or something like that when i have ever play with this vehicle it's like bent barrel it goes up down left right not in the center uh, so <laughs> lorraine 50 t a jack of uh, not too many tricks i would say so and uh, all that said i do believe this is not very beginner friendly tank either if you are definitely a good player what uh, crow warrior definitely is very good player you can make it work but it is not a uh, very beginner friendly vehicle so if you have uh, a certain amount of tokens to spend i would rather and if you do not have like a phase one still for some reason if you are a newer player if you do not have a if you do not have uh, basically most of the other vehicles, um, I really would not recommend going for this tank. And by the way, this is just a replay bug over here. The outline is not showing. The tank is actually visible. You're going to see that in a second as well. The outline is boom, just like that is going to pop up. But sometimes the replay simply does not show outlines. I don't know why. But yeah, if you do not have um, any other vehicle uh, uh, selected, I would select like Lorraine 40T uh, as the final one. And uh, this tank has a quite a nice nickname or uh, people call it the best tier 7 heavy tank. It is a tier 9 heavy tank, we all know that, but uh, they call it, it is by far, you know, by far absolute beast the tier 7 heavy tank. So, you know, just to give you an example over here what the community thinks about that tank. I was checking uh, how players so we're all are all overall are playing with this tank wind ratio wise nothing exceptional 48 percent and uh, average damage wise as well compared to all of the other tier 9s it is on the bottom part uh, on the list uh, so nobody really knows uh, how to play with it nobody really knows how to make it work and once again as i said especially if you are newer in the game uh, or you do not feel very comfortable in heavy tanks this tank definitely is not for you and i would stay away from it i know actually one guy whose favorite tank this one is but some people love even talk twos well there is a fan base for every single tank in the game no doubt about that right there is a fan base and this is just uh, this is just an example Tier 8 light tank is able to penetrate you frontally with standard rounds, no issues. Light tanks, very piss poor penetration on the standard rounds, Badget 12T is example of that and still able to go through your upper plate uh, two shots in a row. The other two were bounces, I don't know, they went, I think those shots went to the angled part of the side of the hull well, or something like that. Anyway, intuition skill has been used over here to load in high explosive round for that Scorpion uh, Chi or Scorpion, which is a smart play over here because you can only see the turret, uh, which uh, is easy penetration with HG anyway, and there it is, 486, uh, sorry, 85 damage into the face uh, with a high explosive round. And as you can see, the ammunition loadout, I really do like uh, this ammunition loadout, I have to say. And over here, a bit of a mistake uh, loading uh, a bit too early, trying to switch the intuition skill back to the AP round versus the T10 but you did that a bit too early a crow warrior well happens right but I do like the ammunition loadout the AP round 1067 meters per second shell velocity and high pen as well and uh, secondary round APCR I do prefer AP round uh, in many many in most situations actually especially versus you know space armor tracking stuff like that it's just uh, more comfortable uh, playing uh, the APCR like that shot what you saw by the way that shot is usually what I see like going straight to the freaking ground because of the bent parallel issue i don't know dude is that does the hand tank has uh, bent parallel or am i the only one who has those type of shots i do not believe that uh, but uh, the secondary round apcr uh, once again very fast 1334 meters per second shell velocity and 308 millimeters of penetration uh, and in like 
those penetration differences 267 versus 308 it is a vehicle that does not need actually too many APCR rounds but APCR you know indirectly makes your uh, gun you know feels like more accurate as well at the same time because you don't have any shell arc it just goes whoop, straight forward and it doesn't curve that much uh, so now only two tanks left in this battle Banzer 58 Mutz who is able to penetrate of course two times in a row no issues whatsoever to go through the upper plate but uh, luckily uh, Crow Warrior does not have to worry about uh, keeping the hit points because there is only one enemy vehicle left in the game uh, ran out of uh, all the AP rounds and now APCR is uh, the way to go uh, he has, uh, Crow Warrior has uh, one, at least one blind shot, that was the blind uh, destruction, right? So hopefully able to get the shot into Object Q57 as well uh, for a little uh, 7000 damage battle, which uh, in this vehicle is very, very good score. Actually, very good score because of, especially because of the low DPM I mentioned, this is not a vehicle that can sit in the position and non-stop farm, you know? You, you need DPM to actually do that, but... Uh, very nice score, very beautiful battle by Crow Warrior. Thank you very much for sharing this replay. And as you can see, first mark of excellence as well after this battle. Ace tanker, of course, confederate, uh, damaging and not destroying. At least six targets and high caliber as well. 7320 damage done in total. Ally D55A actually did an excellent job as well. You can see that uh, basically two uh, players carried this game. Uh, 5100 damage uh, to T55A as well. Uh, 26 shots fired in total, 18 hit, 17 penetrations. That's like more of the shots fired and uh, hit ratio I'm used to seeing, but this penetration uh, ratio is actually very, very nice. Uh, only 880 damage bounced uh, and uh, damaged the nine vehicles in total. So, ladies and gentlemen, Lorraine 50T Dank, which I really do not recommend you picking up uh, for your tokens if you have some other options to pick up. Uh, Kunzebanter as well, I think I forgot to mention. Uh, uh, what do you think about that? Like, if you have all the other vehicles, if you have tokens for this tank, I guess you can go for it. Maybe, you know, in the far future, they are going to buff this DPM a bit. Maybe, you know, gun handling even a bit better. Or does it need it, or am I just the only one whose gun is bent, bent barrel? Uh, what, what is your take on this? And uh, what is also your favorite vehicle from the Battle Pass? Is it Cobra? Is it AE Phase 1? Is it Shara Futur uh, 4? Let me know in the comment section down below, guys. I catch you next time with something else. Uh, in the meantime, I try to keep enjoying my vacation in Africa. I'm still in Africa while you're watching this video, just uh, pre-making uh, content for you. And uh, much love, ladies and gentlemen. Stay awesome, stay beautiful, stay sexy, take care, and bye.